Welcome to part two of our two-part quick guide video series for the Fabric Analyzer by Browseware. In part one, we provided an overview of the Fab's parts, accessories, and their function, as well as the basics of installing the DB admin software and setting up the equipment. So be sure to check out that video if you need a review. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to test your very own fabric and add it to the database. Before we get to the fabric testing, let's first familiarize you with the DB Admin User Interface. The left side displays all fabrics within a given database. The upper right drop-down menu shows which database you're working within. In the center, the testing interface will appear with all the input fields needed for fabric testing. In the upper right drop-down menu, choose the correct company database for the fabric you wish to test. On the left, click the plus sign to add a new fabric. Fill in the required fields under the General Information section. Name and category are mandatory, but Manufacturer and Description are optional. Choose your category. For this example, we will choose Knit. If the desired category of fabric cannot be found, simply click the Pencil Edit button on the right to add a new fabric category name. Next. Add the fiber content under the Composition section. In this case, we have two fiber contents, so we will click the Add Fiber button to get a second input field. Now choose the fibers from the drop-down list and fill in the percentages. Remember, the total percentage for all fabrics should add up to 100%. Once the general information and composition sections are completed, you can begin fab calibration. Click the Use Fab button and a window will pop up to guide you through the steps you'll need to complete a test. Each time a test phase is successfully completed, the next test will be highlighted in the sequence. Make sure the clamps are either both up or both down and there's nothing obstructing the path of the movable arm on the fab. To calibrate, hit Start. The process will begin. The movable arm will move towards the fixed arm and back and forth a few times. You'll know the process is complete when the next button has appeared in the Fabric Analyzer window on your screen. Afterwards, you'll need to enter the mass under the Mass Calculation section. Fill in the fields for width and length of the sample fabric strip and use the average weight you calculated previously. Click the first Calculate button to get the net area. Click the second Calculate button to get your final mass reading. Alternately, you can enter your own fabric mass without using the calculator if you have a grams per meter squared mass from a vendor. Click Next to start the following test. As you can see, the Thickness Test section is now highlighted. First, hit the Start button to get the movable arm into the correct position for testing. Lift the clamp, slide the fabric underneath the movable arm, then wrap the fabric around the movable arm and underneath the clamp. Make sure to fold the excess onto the movable arm so it is not touching the base plate. Begin the thickness test by pressing start. The fixed and movable arms will press the sample fabric to measure the thickness. You will know the process has completed when the next button appears on your screen. Remove the sample fabric. Hit start to begin the long segment test. Once the start button turns blue, insert the large spacer into place between the two arms ensuring the groove is underneath the movable arm and not the fixed arm. Slide the sample fabric under the clamps face down making sure to align it between the long grooves on the spacer until it meets the stopper on the fixed arm. Lower the clamp and wind the tightening knob until the sample fabric is secure. To ensure the correct amount of force is applied, check the force indicator range on your computer screen. Adjust the clamps or fabric position until the force is reading within the green zone. Now, remove the spacer and double check that the force indicator is still in the green zone. Fold the excess fabric onto the movable arm of the fab. Press start to begin the test. The testing time will vary depending on the stretchability of the sample fabric being tested. The next button will be highlighted once the test is complete. Click next to proceed and note that the test face highlighted on the left has now moved to the short segment test. Unwind the tightening knobs, lift the clamps, and remove the sample fabric. Hit start to begin the next test. The movable arm will move closer toward the fixed arm. Once the start button turns blue, position the small spacer into place between the movable arm and the fixed arm. Position the same sample fabric under the clamps so the untested side of the fabric lays between the movable and fixed arm. 
You do not want to retest the same part of the fabric that was stretched in the previous test. Ensure that the fabric is aligned with the stopper on the movable arm. In some cases, the fabric may not reach the stopper. This is okay. The main priority is to test a portion of the sample fabric that has not been tested in the previous test. Lower the clamps and wind the tightening knobs. If one tightening knob's path is blocked by the other, simply press down on the top of the tightening knob and rotate it out of the way. Once again, make sure that the force indicator appears in the green zone. Fold or roll the excess fabric so it lays near the stopper on the fixed arm. Remove the small spacer. Hit start and the movable arm will move just slightly to prepare for phase one of the test. Now take a pen or pencil, slide it underneath the sample fabric and gently lift to create a slight upward arch as indicated on the screen. Hit start and phase one of the test will begin. Upon completion, take your pen or pencil and gently push the fabric down into a slight downward arch. Hit start and phase two of the test will begin. The next button will be highlighted once the short segment test is complete. Click next to proceed to the next test. Repeat the long segment and short segment tests for the subsequent across or with grain line and bias grain line sample fabrics. Feel free to rewind the video if you need a refresher on the testing steps. When all tests have been completed, a check mark will appear in all of the tests. Click the Save button. The Fab window will close and you will return to DB Admin. All physical properties have automatically synced into DB Admin from the Fab testing. Click Save at the top. Finally, click OK on the dialog box. Now that you've completed a full fabric test, you can continue testing other fabrics or exit the DB Admin program. For additional working and safety tips for your fab, check out support.browseware.com.